So here we have our short slash medium transmission line models. So a balanced three phase circuits are analyzed by the use of equivalent single phase circuit shown below on the right. This circuit has the zero neutral impedance. To use an approximate model for a three phase circuit, the line sending end and line receiving end voltages, the series impedance is doubled as shown in the circuit on the left. So in our first circuit, you see that our VS is equal to our VR plus our IL to ZL. And our sending end voltage is going to equal our receiving end voltage. And in the second circuit, we have our sending end voltage divided by our radical 3 equal to our receiving end voltage divided by radical 3 plus the ZI. And again, our sending end current is equal to our receiving end current. Where a moderate amount of capacitive reactants must be accounted for, it is divided between the source and receiving ends of the model to form the letter pi. This would be the case with a piece of cable or with overhead lines less than 50 miles, so for a short transmission line. So any, any transmission line that is 50 miles or less is going to be considered your short transmission line. Anything that is 150 miles is going to be your medium transmission lines. An equivalent T circuit is also possible, but not typically used. 2ZL is used in the first equation because that is the fact, the constant use for that circuit. And Mike, uh, the G line for a transmission line, um, that's just for the single wire um, that's used, typically referred to as the, the Gubda line. So it's just, I don't think you're going to really need it for the exam. It's just saying that those are the typical parameters that you need to be in place to have your characteristic impedance um, calculations.